Hi everyone, I'm so excited to start a new series on YouTube and it's called Bookwork. We all read books, right? And people read books for different reasons. Some people read for pleasure, some people read for information, some people read for learning something new, right? Some people read for change, transformation. So when you read, especially self-help books or self-improvement books, so basically we are filling our mind, okay, this is our mind, this is the shape of our mind. We are filling our mind, mind with a lot of information. The more books you read, you have more information. It's not just with books, even in our, if you look at our education system, this is what happens, right? If you attend standard, you are here, when you at a, when you pass your graduation, right, you have this level, post-graduation here, PhD here. So basically you're filling your mind, right, with a lot of information, a lot of stuff. And sometimes this can even suffocate people. And in most cases, this vessel or this shape or yourself, it doesn't change. You remain, you remain the same. Now, if you really want transformation, right so if you want to change the shape of this vessel if you want to change yourself right if you want to make an impact you have to take this information and do something about it so basically you have to act you have to take action you know the purpose of reading non-fiction books or self-help books is to get ideas strategies tools to make improvements in our lives you know, self-improvement basically some kind of personal change or transformation but you and I know that it's not easy and doesn't work most of the time information is not enough information plus action results in transformation studies say most people who buy self-improvement books don't read more than the first three chapters on an average for various reasons and majority of people especially in this internet world don't read books at all but you know there are powerful books filled with life transforming wisdom strategies tools techniques which can actually help you to take your life to the next level so my objective in this series book work is to dig and share hidden treasures from the best books in the world in each episode i'll share with you three key action items you know which which are easy to practice and you don't have to read 300 pages to figure out what works book work is all about what works now this is not a book review or a book summary, you know, it's book work. Focusing on key principles and actionable ideas from the best-selling books, you know, must-read books, must-read non-fiction books in the world. I promise if you work on these principles, your life will never be the same. So we'll start the first episode of book work with my all-time favorite book, Think and Grow Rich. Now, this is one of the first self-help book I've read in my life, you know, I think I was 16 or 17. Now, for me, those days, you know, my only source of good books were the public library in my city and, you know, and the second-hand, second-hand booksellers. So this particular book, I got it from a second-hand uh, bookseller. I still remember. It just came to me in, in a strange way. I don't know why I picked up, and I don't know, I didn't know anything about this book, you know, but when I took something inside me, you know, push me to buy and read this book. You know, there is a saying, sometimes uh, books pick people. This book is in that category. You know, it has some kind of energy. Now, after reading, you know, I got super excited because this was the first time I got exposed to this kind of material. So I remember telling my friends that, you know, I got this secret powerful book to become rich and things like that. Okay. Coming to the book, let me give you a brief background if you're not familiar with this book. Think and Grow Rich was written by Napoleon Hill in 1937 during the Great Depression. The book has sold more than 30 million copies all over the world and it's still selling. It is one of the most recommended book in self-improvement space. There have been like millionaires and billionaires who have made their fortune as a result of reading this success classic than any other book ever printed. So many millionaires credit, the, credit this book to their success. 
Think and Grow Rich is based on Napoleon Hill's 20 years of study of successful people in America. This study was sponsored by Andrew Carnegie, his mentor, and he was one of the wealthiest person in America at that time. So the book explained in detail the success secret of self-made successful men such as Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, uh, J.P. Morgan, George Eastman, John D. Rockefeller, Alexander Graham Bell, and right, people like that. And if you look at any success material, you know, self-help books, you know, the current books, or, and if you look at motivational speakers like uh, Stephen Covey or John Maxwell, Tony Robbins, and you will see everyone using his research and work in one way or the other. The book contains timeless principles, great words of wisdom and excellent advice, you know, perhaps the greatest personal development book ever published. The principles can be used to achieve anything, not just money. So I would like to share three powerful action points from this book which can transform your life if you practice. Book work number one, auto suggestion. Now all of our beliefs, values, goals and dreams have been programmed in our subconscious mind since birth. So subconscious programming actually influences our life outcomes, even if we are not consciously aware of it. So auto-suggestion or self-suggestion is a medium to influence our subconscious mind. The dominating thoughts we allow in our subconscious mind, whether these thoughts are negative or positive, it will have an impact in our life. So when you communicate your desire directly to your subconscious mind with absolute faith and positive emotion, you will see positive changes. The key here is emo emotion. You know, if you repeat something without any emotion, you will not see any result. Your subconscious mind recognizes and acts in upon thoughts which have been well mixed with positive emotions and feelings. So plain unemotional words do not influence the subconscious mind much. So this is how you do it, right? self suggestion So step one, write down your goal or your outcome in a card, which is behind a visiting card or something of that sign size. The statement should be in positive and in present tense. Like for example, if you want to lose weight, your gold card should be something like, I'm so happy and grateful that I'm at my ideal weight of dash, whatever you want to feel, and I'm feeling happy and healthy. Or something like, I'm so happy and grateful that I'm earning, you know, whatever amount of money, dash, uh, and I'm feeling really happy. And money is consistently coming to my life, something of that kind. So step two is, Auto suggestion is done by going to a separate quiet place and reading it loud. So you may hear your own words. You now carry the card with you. You know, you read as many times as possible. I'll just show you something. Yeah. So something like this. So this is the card, and you can read before you go to bed, you know, morning, uh, as soon as you get up, or when you if you do meditation, just after the practice when you're in that alpha state. So have faith, right? So carry this you know gold card with you. There is a famous statement by Napoleon Hill in the book, he says, whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So both poverty and riches are the offspring of your thought. The power is in consistency. You have to do it for minimum 66 days without a break because initially you will not believe whatever you have written or whatever you're reading. But over a period of time, it becomes natural to you through the power of repetition. So it will create a structural tension in your brain and it will start supporting you. So, see, we all have unlimited potential. You know, this programming will unleash that power within us and will give you, you know, all the resources to materialize your desire. So that's one. Book work number two, visualization. See, it's impossible to create something that cannot first be imagined. So visualization literally is about, you know, seeing your future in the brain as if it existed in the present time. So when we visualize a future goal, or the brain instructs our neurons to perform the action. So the mental imagery you, know, you create impacts multiple cognitive processes in the brain, your motor control, attention, perception, planning, memory and things like that. So the brain is literally getting trained for actual performance during visualization. So our brain cannot differentiate between what is vividly imagined and what is real. So this is how you practice visualization. Step one, sit in a comfortable place. You know, take couple of deep breaths, you know, let go of all your tensions and cl close your eyes. Be relaxed. You know, relaxation dissolves all resistance. So see your outcome you know, as vividly as possible, you know, over and over, using all your senses. You know, create a mental scene of your desired outcome as if it's already achieved. 
you know, as if it's, it's already happening. You know, use all the sensual details you can. As you focus on your goal, you know, add positive emotions, encouraging vibes. So make strong positive statements to yourself. Feel it in your body. The power is in your sensation. But don't force yourself, right? The only way to get better at visualization is by practicing it. You know, it's visualization is an interior dress rehearsal for your success. You know, do it every day. Napoleon Hill says, if you do not see great riches in your imagination, you will never see them in your bank balance. So book work number three, specialized knowledge. Education doesn't stop on graduation day. You know, it's a continuous process. Just having knowledge doesn't make one successful. You know, information is available to everyone these days. All the knowledge of the world is just a mere click away and you know, few in the world are successful just by knowing something because it's not about knowing something it's about making use of that so you know making a connection the correct use of specialized knowledge is when someone uses that knowledge execute something to get what they want so you know, today it's called niche right riches in the niche the world is full of generalists so you need to be a subject matter expert if you look at it and i'll ask a question so who is paid more a neurosurgeon or a general physician so the answer is obvious. You know, if you have the skills everyone has, you know, in the road, you will get what everyone gets on the road. But when you have a specialized skill and when you utilize it effectively, you will get all the riches. So invest yourself in gaining specialized knowledge and skill in your field. You know, work on your craft, improve your competence. So the action is to identify your niche and constantly add value to yourself by reading books, attending courses, learning about it, doing research, networking with the right people, you know, things like that. So every day spend at least 30 minutes in gaining specialized knowledge in your field. So to wrap it up, number one, book work number one, auto suggestion, you know, read your goal statement every day. Number two, visualize your goal. Number three, specialized knowledge, be a genius in your field by gaining right knowledge and be a subject matter expert. See, if you spend few minutes every day you know, for these activities, your life will never be the same. There's one more very important thing in Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. In his own words, he says, it's not enough to just wish for riches. You must also fill yourself with the willingness to work for those riches and make sure that the effort and reward are closely linked. So there are more principles in the book. Uh, it's an amazing book. If you'd like to listen to the whole book, please go to my playlist on my YouTube channel under the heading, My Favorite Audio Books. This is the first book in that list. So you can listen to the full version. Thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy.